Hi, I'm Paul Treichler from Rain Technology. Excited to show you some of our demos of switchable privacy. So you have these shipping and a lot of products in the market? We do. Uh, these are shipping uh, millions of units every year in laptop and point of sale. Um, these are all demos. None of these are actually units in market. They're showcasing some of our technology that's in development now and ready to be put into commercial products. So um, you have a privacy solution? Exactly. So really the concept here for switchable privacy is that when you're looking head on uh, as the main user, you can see all the content. And when you are actually looking at from the side that you cannot. So there you go to switch. Um, you can see full like view normal from mode, the front. Kind of? Exactly. So we call it share mode. Yeah. So share mode when you're looking at straight on. And then when you put it into private mode, then it blocks the light coming out of the screen. So all the way down to as low as 0.3% of the light. There was like a switch happening. Yeah, so in this case, um, we're using, this is for a demo, um, we're using a, a key fob to do that. Um, in this example, we actually have a button on the keyboard. So the shipping units today, uh, which are in HP, you press a button on the keyboard, and that puts it into the privacy mode. Nice. Um, what, what's the, uh, what's the, what do you call it, uh, uh, privacy level? Are you, are you like completely blocking off or blocking a lot of off? Yeah, so we're blocking light and we're getting it down so that only as low as 0.3% of the light is actually visible from that predetermined angle. And we can determine the angle during the optical design phase, whether that's 45 degrees, 35 degrees, or, or different, depending on whether you're looking at laptops, point of sale, automotive, or other use cases. And when you're in the normal mode, what is the uh, uh, impact? In the normal mode, is yep. there like, uh, 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 is there a layer going on in front of the display technology, or what are you doing? So this is all built into the display. So in a typical display, you've got the backlight, you've got various layers that might be a touch layer, etc. We're actually a liquid crystal layer right inside the um, panel, and that proprietary layer is what switches on and off. And whether that's done by a key press or done in software. Um, there are many options for how you can actually implement that. Does it also uh, uh, turn down the, the brightness a little bit to do even more? or? So it doesn't actually need to change the brightness. So the brightness head-on is the same whether you're in privacy mode or uh, in uh, the share mode. Um, where the brightness really changes is on that angle. So when you're actually switching from uh, private to share, that's where you actually see the drop in brightness when you have privacy. Um, some of the differences that you see between these, these three laptops that we have here, um, these two are using a collimated backlight, whereas this one is uh, using a, a non-CBL, um, which means that it's actually lower in cost using standard backlight. Um, these two are showcasing two different things. One of them is an enhanced wide mode so that even at a very high angle, you can see the screen quite visibly in share mode. So if you're collaborating, you can do that. Or in privacy mode, you can actually block that down so people can't see the uh, the image from the side. Um, and in this laptop, what we're really showing here is actually from the side, you can see a logo. We've uh, picked one of the laptop manufacturer's logos. Um, but you can actually see this reflective design, which is not interesting just for laptops, but also for um, automotives and point of sale systems. So being able to actually provide your brand. That's called display screen branding. So that's another thing. And that, that logo is only from the side. Exactly. Exactly. It's only intended to be used from the side, and that's another cell in addition to the privacy cell that can turn on and off. This is in an off state. When you actually have the, the display on, you can have that logo visible during the privacy. Uh, it's a little bit like this movie where some people wearing the glasses see something, the other people don't. And maybe on the yeah. side, you could have like a privacy mode. Exactly. So, so you if, would, you're, you if you're transacting, that, You would instance. understand that they're in privacy mode. That's why you see privacy mode. Exactly. So it doesn't have to have a logo. That could say privacy, please. So if you're paying with your credit card, someone from the side that's looking at you paying on that terminal would just see privacy, please. And that might be the, the appropriate uh, message to put on there. Nice. So I can move on to the point yep. of sale uh, systems. So um, these are um, usable for different scenarios um, where you're paying for medical kiosks and, others, and other types of point of sale applications in retail and hospitality. Um, this one's already in a, in a privacy mode, so if you look head-on versus to the side, you can see the difference in the uh, visibility of the screen. Um, the next one that we have is actually a uh, shipping unit, so you can present your card and tap, and then when you're doing your PIN, you can actually have privacy for your PIN entry. 
Uh, and this last one actually shows both our, our um, privacy as well as touch. This is a touch screen uh, point of sale device. And so you can switch that on and off based uh, just on the touch of the button here. So you can see privacy versus share mode. Nice. Uh, and this is utilizing our dual cell technology. So this gets down to as low as 0.3% uh, visible light uh, from the privacy angles. Nice. Uh, so there's, uh, there's all, all sorts of commercial applications that could be useful for this, right? Yeah, absolutely. Let me show you our automotive as well. So in this automotive demo, there are two positions. There is the driver and the passenger. So I'll let you. So the driver ends on the left? Um, no, we're doing a right side drive. Yeah. So you can okay. actually sit in this driver position first. Okay. So in the driver seat, uh, you should be able to see, um, well, no, you need to actually yeah. have the chair there um, because you're, you're driving the car and this is a passenger yeah. infotainment display. Yeah. So you can see the GPS, but you cannot see, or it, it from, from the yeah. passenger angle, you can't see the uh, content that's on the passenger. They're watching football match. So the passenger can actually watch the football match and see the full screen, whereas the driver sees the privacy on, on, over the football match, so just that zone. And then we also have shown the logo here. So this is the display screen branding, um, which could be your favorite automotive brand. Nice. And so, so this is the passenger view. And so the passenger is able to see everything from sitting in that yeah. uh, seat. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, so uh, I, I, I've seen in the industry, some people are talking about some kind of like a layer that you put on, um, like what do you call it? A screen cover kind of filter thing? Yeah, but that you put on like an adhesive film that you yeah. put on. So we refer to those as passive films. The difference between what we do and what that is, is that ours is active. You push a button or software determines that it switches on and off. Those films are always on private mode. So if you wanted to use that, for instance, point of sales terminal uh, to advertise when it's not in transaction, you couldn't do that with uh, a, a passive film solution. Um, there's also impacts to the visibility to touch and other things like that. So, so it's, a, it's a, so solving the same problems, but also adding additional utility. When you say it's in the display, uh, as I understand, LCD displays have a, a bunch of sand. It's kind of like a sandwich of stuff. In it there. is exactly that. So are you one of those things in the sandwich? We are one of the pieces of salami right in the middle of the sandwich uh, as the proprietary layer. But there's also tweaks that we do to everything from the backlight to polarizers to optimize for the particular environment and the particular effect. So if you want a metallic effect versus a black effect, if you want the logo, et cetera, then you can, uh, this for instance is a, is a metallic uh, effect. Um, if you want those effects, you can uh, add different layers. And then we actually work both with the backlight as well um, to optimize uh, for the privacy and the privacy angles that you need. It's not possible to take, take it completely off the, 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 maybe a hint of something but when you take the majority off, at least it's going to be harder for people to snoop on what you're doing. Yes, um, so we can get down to about 0.3% of visible light, and that may, renders it uh, not possible to, to discern what's on the screen. Um, some of these have been spec to between 0.7 uh, and 0.3. So this one's 0.3. Some of these other ones are a little bit uh, lower privacy. And that has to do with the technology that's uh, included in there, how many cells. Uh, and some other details r related to the backlight. So do you only work with LCD? So all of this is working with LCD. Everything we've shown you here, we do have OLED. It's uh, been announced and it's coming out this year. Uh, we're currently working with some of the early customers in defining what the solutions would be with OLED. But I, I really do think that the possibilities for mobile are incredible because I, I, as a New Yorker, I'm on the subway, I'm on the bus, I'm on the train. I don't want everyone to know what my business is. And so I think that is a really nice feature to have, especially if app developers can actually make the decision they want to utilize that feature on a phone or on a tablet um, or other applications. I guess in uh, around Wall Street, some of the guys, when they want to do a, like a big transaction, they're like trying to hide their phone in a corner. Yeah, or, or even if they're on TikTok or even if they're you know on social media. So I think uh, all of these are, you know whether it's financial services or just you know, your own personal privacy. I think that there are uh, compelling reasons to, to have privacy in your hand. So where's your company based? We're in Boulder, Colorado. We also have a team uh, in the UK as well as Taiwan. We work with most of the major uh, manufacturers of panels and also the, the end brands that are uh, creating devices using those panels. So it's a very uh, full supply chain that we work with in order to 
uh, bring these products to market. Because there are a lot of actual products, uh, like laptops. There's a lot of laptops with your technology. Yes. Uh, well, it, there, in the market today, there are um, really primarily we're in HP laptops. Uh, a lot of the examples that you see today are the possibilities of what could exist in a lot of different types of devices. Uh, these are not shipping units. And what's the history of uh, some of the guys in your company? So uh, Rain Technology came out of Real D Cinema. So some of the guys that actually invented uh, 3D cinema in, in its modern form at Real D, uh, they are the folks that actually took some of the consumer uh, related innovations and brought those to market and, and spun that out into rain technology. So that's really the scientists that are driving all this innovation. We have uh, over 700 patents today and over 150 invention uh, different uh, families. So it's a quite a broad set of technology. Um, everything you've seen today is switchable privacy. We also work in AR VR optics with something called anamorphic XR, which is a, a different optical design for, for um, uh, AR and VR experiences um, that inc increases brightness about 10 times what's there today, true color. There's some really interesting innovations there. Um, we also have innovations in adaptive um, light uh, headlights, adaptive beam headlights, as well as um, uh, a number of different areas ac across the industry. It sounds like it's to do with the direct the direction of the the, the light. Yes, exactly. The direction of the so you're like uh, you have some uh, some knowledge in how you you handle the light and focus the light and exactly i mean that that's really the legacy of this company is in uh, polarization backlights optics photonics that's really what the scientists in this company have a background in and really how do you take the technologies that exist today and how do you add uh, that perspective onto them to create a better experience new experience that solves a problem